Hello everyone, and welcome to this new tutorial for Maverick Studio and Maverick Indie. In this tutorial we will talk about the Spotlight Projectors and the new Projector Maps Library. We will learn what a projector is and how to make a light able to cast projection maps. Let's see what a projector does by looking at a few real-life examples. In the real photography world, cutout slates are often used to cast light and shadow in an artistic and visually appealing way. This breaks an otherwise too artificial lighting to create interesting atmospheres. These cutouts can take many forms and be positioned closer or fairer from the light source to control the shadow softness. Before we start, you can see we have updated and improved Maverick's user interface with a cleaner look and easier access to advanced features. Let's see how we can achieve this in Maverick. From the Lights panel, click the Create Light icon and you will find a new hard spotlight type. This new hard spotlight is specifically made to create hard and focused shadows. We will lower the environment light, the IBL environment in our case, to better see the spotlight impact on the scene. To produce hard shadows, the light must be very small. If you increase the light size its shadow becomes accordingly softer. To easily add a projector, go to the library, which is now a single panel containing all the Maverick library items. In the lighting library you will find a new projectors category. There are many presets of various shapes and colors. Simply drag and dropping one of the presets to the light automatically activates the projection. This will enable very creative illuminations for your scene, adding depth and atmosphere to the simplest object. You can go ahead and continue trying different presets, Maverick instantly updates the projector. Using the normal light tool, you can reposition the spotlight and select the right projection for your scene. Select the light and expend the spotlight parameters rollout. The angle parameter control how wide or narrow the light beam is. A larger value will produce a wider beam, and a smaller value a narrower beam. The projector map is scaled according to the beam angle, which effectively allows to control the projection size onto the scene objects. Using different combinations of angle, light size and intensity, you can create amazing shots with minimal effort. You can also project colored maps. Let's take a look at another example. We will load the kitchen appliance scene. Disable the existing lights for the moment. And now create a new hard spotlight. Again position the new spotlight exactly to your liking using the normal light tool. To speed up your light setup, you can go to the render panel and enable the clay render option from the feature toggles rollout. It is also possible to use a custom clay material if you want. Now let's apply a projector map, this swirly dots for example. This instantly creates a completely different ambience and impact to the scene. When you are happy with the result, you can disable the clay render to return to your full scene materials. The possibilities are numerous, with many presets for all types of scenes. You can also save your own in Maverick's lighting library folder on your computer. Let's try another scene, from the start screen's additional tab.
You will find other sample scenes, some of them are Maverick Indie examples. Again we disable the existing lights to better see our spotlight. Create a new hard spotlight, and drag and drop a projector map. Lower your environment intensity if needed so the spotlight contribution is more prominent. And in seconds you will get an entirely different render. This Maverick version also comes with a new feature to add any light to the ambience. Right click on any light and select add to ambience. This makes the light part of the global lighting and it will now rotate along with the environment and other ambience lights. Let's try a few other projector presets. The light being part of the ambience, it will rotate with the environment. Now let's see how these new features can improve your materials presentation renders. We will import a new substance material using Maverick's unique automatic substance painter and designer import. As usual, simply double click on any of the maps to import the full PBR material. Then select an ambience and make sure displacement is enabled. And here is our displaced concrete material. We disable existing lights and add a new hard spotlight once again. We position the new spotlight. Now we can add a projector preset. and adjust the spotlight angle to concentrate the light beam and reduce the projection size. You can create a copy of the light using the duplicate light icon. The normal light tool being still active and the new light selected, you can reposition it right away. The lights clone can have its own projector map. And in seconds you can get creative and interesting material presentation images. We hope you enjoyed this video and will put this amazing feature to great use. Feel free to share your work on our social media, which links are in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick!